Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I make my own homemade diaper rash cream. Now this is the same cream that I've been using for my daughter the entire time that she's been alive and it works amazingly well. I really love knowing exactly what is in the cream. I don't want to put any store-bought creams on her because they have a lot of toxins and things that really aren't good for your baby's skin. So all of these ingredients are really healthy and I know exactly what they are which makes me feel really good and really confident that this is the best thing that I can use on my daughter. And you only need a few ingredients to make this. So let's go through all the ingredients. First you'll need shea butter, coconut oil, zinc oxide, betonite clay, and some essential oils. I have lavender and Roman chamomile here. The shea butter and coconut oil are just really great healing oils to put on your baby's skin. I really love using bentonite clay in this because it pulls out toxins and it absorbs moisture and it fights bacteria. I use this clay in one of my soaps because of all these things. It just helps with acne and just all kinds of great stuff. The zinc oxide is to make it waterproof. I use this in my sunscreen that I make and it just creates a moisture barrier on your skin so that water can't get to your skin. So this is kind of the thing that makes it so great for really bad rashes is because it prevents the poop or pee from getting on their skin and sitting there. So even if she doesn't have a rash yet, if we're gonna be on a long car ride, I will put this on her just so that when she goes, it'll block it from getting on her skin and prevent her from getting a rash. She just is getting over a really bad rash right now. I realized that she's allergic to some food and she was having some horrible diarrhea and she got a terrible rash. And I've been putting this on her every time I change her diaper and it's only been like three days and it's almost gone. So I am like just super happy with this recipe. I have a pot here that I'm gonna melt everything in. It is ideal if you can use a double boiler. If you don't have an actual double boiler, you can use a little pot inside of a big pot or like a glass bowl inside of a pot. I am not going to use a double boiler today. I'm just going to put it in here. I'm not gonna add the essential oils until it's off the burner so that it doesn't kill all the good stuff that's in there. But I'm just gonna put it on the very lowest setting and not use the double boiler today because my big pot is dirty and I'm very tired. I just want to get this made. So you don't have to use it. You just have to be a little more careful to not burn it or leave it too long and it'll start boiling. And you also just want to make sure you don't add your essential oils until it's off the burner and a little cooled down. So first we're going to put half a cup of shea butter in and about five tablespoons of coconut oil. And now I'm going to take this over to the stove and melt it. Okay, now that it's all melted, I'm going to add in four tablespoons of zinc oxide, as well as four tablespoons of bentonite clay. And now I'm going to use my whisk or a spoon or something and make sure it's really well combined. Now I'm going to take our lavender essential oil and add five drops, and five drops of Roman chamomile, and I'm going to stir them in. Now I have a, a jar here that I'm going to use to store it in, and I'm just going to pour it right in here. And now we're just going to let it harden. Sometimes I'll put it in the refrigerator if I want it to harden faster, but you can just leave it out on the counter if you want. And now it is all done, and that was really easy. So now if you use cloth diapers, you're going to have to modify this a little bit, or add eyeliner to your cloth diaper so that it doesn't a moisture barrier over the diaper because that zinc oxide is so good at creating moisture barriers it can create one over the cloth on your diaper which would not be good because then all of you would run out of the side so you can buy these little liners that are made for going over the diaper or you can use paper towel or you can make this without the zinc oxide and it's still an excellent diaper rash cream i like to add in the zinc oxide because usually when i use this her diaper rashes have gotten pretty bad and I will just put her in disposables for a few days until it's gone so that I don't have to worry about putting a liner over it. There's a bunch of different things you can do if you cloth diaper and you need a solution for that. So I hope that was helpful and informative. 
I post three new videos a week on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I will see you next time. Bye.